Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we have a review for you. Really excited to talk with you guys about it. So today, we're going to be talking about Bandbox Fella. And the reason why this one is so special, this is a relaunch of a new company, but not really a new company. We'll go ahead and dive into it in a minute. Before we do, again, welcome to the channel. This is Beer Talk with Kyle and Joe. I'm Kyle. What's up, guys? And my name is Joe. And hang tight. We'll be right back after this intro. Welcome back from the intro, everyone. So like I said, today we're going to be talking about Bandbox Fella. Why does Bandbox Fella sound familiar to you? Mike from Chronic Beard previously did own Bandbox Fella. Since then, it has transitioned to our good friend Twitch Beard. That's how he's known on YouTube. That's how he's known on Instagram throughout the bearded community. So now Twitch Beard is running and owning, operating Bandbox Fella. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely cool story behind that. If you had a chance, uh, I'm sure you saw it during our stream on Thursday. If you missed it, please go back and rewatch a lot of good information. A lot of fun stuff came out of that live. Uh, so yeah, let's dive right into these prices and these, uh, and the presentation. So starting off with a one ounce bottle of oil, and this is what that bad boy looks like over here. And let me block off my face so it can actually focus. Perfect. And for this one ounce bottle of oil, you're going to be looking at uh, $15, which is an excellent price, in my opinion, uh, for a bottle of oil. I think nowadays you're going below that market average. So that is what that looks like there. And the Kyle showing off the butter there, which with the matching uh, clean, simple, label. It's clean and simple. That's the best way to describe this presentation uh, for me. And then that butter is going to run you $18 for a two ouncer. And for me, I really, really like those prices for sure. Kyle, any thoughts on the presentation? And yeah, uh, presentation is fantastic. Like Joe said, it's very clean. I really like it. Uh, this is not glass. This is the hard plastic, which, which feels nice and sturdy. Um, so yeah, 15 for the oil, 18 for the butter, and then a $30 for a combo. So you're looking at $15 a piece. I think that's right there, if not a little bit below market average, which I really like. Um, so no complaints there. So we have two, we have an oil and butter in two different scents that we want to go over with you guys. Uh, Joe, go ahead and kick us off. All right. So the first scent that we are going to cover is a scent that is called the 70s fella. And what is really cool about that is he has the name of his scents located right there. Um, mm -hmm. However, he doesn't have the actual profile um, listed, which, you know, that's something that we've always, you know, always encouraged. But, um, you know, it's, it's not, not the worst thing in the world. And this is described as a fresh cologne scent. Now, yeah. when you smell this out of the bottle, um, the very first thing that I, that I got out of it was a cologne that was very invigorating uh, to me. It was definitely, you definitely got a citrus punch. Uh, for me, I felt like I got a lot of lemon out of it. In the bottle, I actually thought it was something that was going to be too strong. But as I worked it in my beard, I actually liked how it started to mellow out uh, quite a bit. Um, and it actually hung around in a good way. Um, and with it, what's what's unique about it is you got some cumin in there. You got some clove, um, with, you know, which are very strong pro profiles. And then you got the basil in there as well. All those profiles together is something that's going to be very strong. So you're going to notice that right out of the bottle, but it definitely tames down pretty well. Kyle, what are your thoughts, man? Yeah. So overall, I definitely liked it. It's interesting. I did not like it in bottle. Way too strong. It reminded me of not an old man cologne, but it reminded me of dad's aftershave. It reminded me of Brute. You remember yeah. Brute in the green bottle? Yeah. So yeah. it's not a bad scent at all, but that's really not what I want to smell like. But when you put this in your beard, it really calms down into a really fresh, crisp, relaxing cologne scent. So I definitely encourage you to try it because I did like it, but don't let it intimidate you out of bottle because it's almost, I don't want to say two separate scents, but strength wise, it's completely different, way more calm in beard. But like I said, overall, I thought it was really nice. Yeah, it's like a Mr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde scent, you know, 
different right. yeah different mood in the bottle from from in the beard uh profile that lasted i would pff, probably 10 hours i would say probably oh, yeah. will last longer in, in some of in some of your beards as well so the next uh scent that we are going to go uh over is a scent that is called clean cut and the mm -hmm. bottle looks exactly the same there and this is going to be his take on a barbershop scent if you have seen our channel and seen us talk about barbershops, we are two guys that absolutely love a good barbershop profile. Um, if this is your first time watching one of our videos, first of all, welcome and thank you so much. Uh, but we absolutely love, love, love barbershops. And this was a nice throwback to the time that I very much first experienced a good barbershop profile scent. You're going to get that Bay Rum, a little bit of it, and you're going to get uh, that Talcum Fresh powder uh re really strong with that and then there is some musk and some amber uh to it so it's going to be one of those scent profiles that is uh very powdery you know you got the powdery from the talcum and you got the uh, powdery type feel and scent from the amber um and it just really makes you feel like you're at like a vintage old school uh barber shop i really think it was well done it was a good throwback of really what a true barber shop should be another profile that in my beard it went pretty close to about 10 hours maybe not as much as the others uh, other scent but right, right up there on the higher end Right. Yeah. Uh, the barbershop was my favorite one out of the two by far. Really nice. Definitely one of my favorite barbershop scents. So I got, I know you mentioned like powdery, you could tell it was a barbershop scent, but to me that amber was really coming through. So I wouldn't call it like a barbershop cologne type of scent, but I would say it definitely had other notes in it. Um, it was pretty manly. Um, kind of musky, which I really like, but it was definitely still in the barbershop category. I would say if you're a barbershop fan, which I know we have some viewers who love barbershop scents, um, you really got to try this one because it was really nice. Some barbershop scents are just straight powder, which I, which is nice, but I'm not crazy about. I like them to be, to stand out a little more. Um, and this one really did. So I, I thought this one was really top notch. Awesome. Kyle, why don't you keep it going and let's talk about the uh, feel and beard of these products. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's start with the oil. I'm going to read the ingredient list to you. Uh, jojoba oil, sunflower oil, hemp seed oil, emu oil, squalene oil are, is this is the oil profile. And you can tell there's some top notch ingredients in there. Joe and I, you've heard, you've heard us say it before, big fans of emu, big fans of hemp seed. Um, so I thought the feeling beard was awesome. From that emu oil, you can see it's got a really cloudy consistency. Um, as far as how it feels, to me, it's a straight medium. But I got to tell you, this beard oil soaked right into my skin, soaked right into my beard, did everything that I wanted to do pretty much all day. I have no complaints about the feeling beard. I thought it was awesome. Yep. And I'll just kind of show you. See, it runs really, really quick there. Yeah. And I think Kyle's right when, it, when, uh, when he mentions it's a true medium wipe my hand there uh yeah so when you uh if you've never experienced like an emu uh oil or even like an ostrich oil um when you put it in your hand it's it actually feels more thicker than what it really is but as you start to work it in your beard you start to realize that it's really not a thick oil uh whatsoever it is a product that really works nicely into your beard and as you start to work it into your skin your skin absorbs it so well. And I really think uh, Twitch did an amazing job of blending all these products um, or these ingredients together. Um, I think this is a top-notch blend that really produced a top-notch feel. I think uh, the feel of these products um, is the best quality of what Twitch has done thus far. And honestly, if you're gonna start off with a bang, that's what you want to do. You want to produce an oil that's going to absolutely feel great. Um, and as he starts to roll out more scents, um, I really think he's really onto something as far as some good products, especially with that feel in of the oil. Just like the scent, I would say the feel in duration lasted all day. I did not at once think that I needed to put uh, in uh, additional oil throughout the day. By the time I was ready for an additional product, it was already time for bed and I was putting butter in. So very, very good. That's what I look for when it comes to an oil. 
Uh, yeah. So speaking about butter, let's go ahead and dive right into it. Uh, so we have jojoba butter, sweet almond butter, jojoba oil, sunflower oil, hemp seed oil, emu oil, squalene oil, fragrance, and essential oils. Uh, the butter was really nice, guys. Um, out of the jar, it felt a little bit jelly to me, oh. just a real little bit. Um, that's what it looks like there. It's obviously dense enough where you can see the fingerprints. Um, so like I said, it felt a little bit jelly out of the jar but it melted down in my hands really nice to give it more of a, I'm going to say a normal um, texture. Um, it was a touch on the heavier side um, that, that I prefer, but for me, I just kind of um, toned down how much I'm using that, you know, after a, um, a use or two, I just kind of get used to that right away, but it did everything I wanted to do. It made my beard really nice and soft. It does provide a, a decent amount of hold for a butter, which I really like because I'm really into wearing butters during the day and at night these days. Um, but like I said, I thought it was a top notch quality butter felt great. Yeah. So one of the first things that I noticed, uh, which was a kind of a surprise to me, because I don't know how many butters that I have at, that don't actually include like shea butter. Uh, and, and so I was really wondering how this was going to feel. Shea butter is truly one of like the greatest pro uh, items that you can put in a butter. And I will say that this butter really does hold up to some of those top-notch butters that that include Shea. Um, I thought the feel and beard was was really well. I would say I prefer the oils over the butters um, if I had a pick. Um, but I really think the butter, you know, did its job. It it holds up well overnight. Um, my beard felt pretty soft, you know, the next morning. I uh, did not feel, you know, like uh, dry. Didn't have that burn nest type feel to it. Uh, really, it, it it's everything that you can ask for in a butter. I think it was executed uh, pretty well, but I'm going to say probably a notch or two below that, that oil, uh, just if, if I, if I had to say so. Yeah. The oil really stood out. The oil was really yeah. impressive. Not that the butter wasn't good, but the oil was really impressive. Mm -hmm. Really felt nice. Um, we do have a affiliate discount code for you. So we will get a small kickback, full transparency on that. And I believe it is beard talk 15, but just in case that is not correct, of course, we'll have that below as well. Make sure you guys check out the description. Um, but as you can see, really top-notch qualities. Don't really have many negative or feedback to provide Twitch. Um, really like what he's doing. I think he's off to a great start. I'm really excited to see what uh, Bandbox Fella has to do in the future. Joe, any uh, closing words? Uh, you know what? Really quick. I'm just, I'm glad that the Bandbox Fella uh, label is still going to be around the community. Um, I think it was a great handoff thus far. So yeah, like Kyle said, let's see what Twitch, uh, let's see what else he has for us. And uh, hey, I wish nothing but the best and Absolutely. really hope you guys enjoy these products as much as we did. Yep. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for being here. That is all the time that we have for you today. As always, keep it growing. And we'll talk to you at the next one. Cousins out.